Hey, it's Aaron Kushler and welcome to another video from EBSC. In today's video, I wanna tell you a quick story and share some insight with you. What happened when I cut down my training times from six days a week down to only four? See, I was in a position uh, previously where I thought more must be better if I kept training harder and doing more sessions a week that I would get to my goals faster. And in some instances, that's correct. But the big thing I was finding was I was getting confused. My joints started getting sore. I was actually getting less motivated with my training. I would be feeling like it was almost like a bit of a chore, which isn't very good. If you're someone who likes training and you have big goals, that can be very demotivating in itself. Like if you're not seeing the results that you thought you would because you're actually overdoing it. And a strange thing happened when I actually did that and cut down from six days a week to only four days a week. And I wanna tell you a little bit about what I actually did and what the benefit of doing that was that I actually felt and saw the, the results from. So that if you're in a similar situation, you can do the same. And perhaps you're, you're training at the moment and and it feels overwhelming, it feels confusing. You're trying all these different things and nothing seems to be working and you feel like you're doing a whole heap of stuff and it's just not working. You're in exactly the same spot as you were maybe six months ago, maybe 12 months ago, and I hope not more than that, because if you are, then you need to change something ASAP. So what I did when I actually cut down my training time was I actually focused it so I was working more efficiently. Now that sounds pretty obvious and you're probably thinking, well, that's great, but how do we go about doing that? What I actually went back to doing was really, really simple, basic things. The first one was timing my rest breaks. You'll be surprised how much time that will make up if you actually stick to the rest breaks that you give yourself. So if you're training for strength, you obviously need to have more rest. If you're training for hypertrophy, you can cut that down a little bit. And if you're training for conditioning, depending on what sort of conditioning you're doing, you're gonna cut that down even further. If you actually stick to the rest breaks, as programmed in, you'll be amazed at how much you can get done in a short amount of time and how much time you're gonna be left over with at the end of your session. See, I was doing a program which wasn't actually that long. It didn't need to have me in the gym for more than an hour, but because my rest breaks blew out to, you know, maybe two, maybe three minutes when they could have been 60 seconds, minute and a half, that meant that I was in the gym for freaking two hours. No one has two hours to spend going through the motions. You wanna be in there with a purpose and get what you need to done. So the first point is time your rest breaks and stick to those rest breaks. You know, have a stopwatch. So as soon as you finish a set, you're timing your rest. And then as soon as that time goes, you go again into the next set. That will save you a massive amount of time on your sessions. The next thing I did was actually stick to exercises that are proven to work. Now, if you followed me for a length of time, you know that I'm a big proponent of my training is strongman training and using strongman training tools. This actually was a big turning point for me as they're so effective at getting you really strong, building muscle and stripping body fat off you in a short amount of time. So I went back to the drawing board and just focused on the raw basics. So the big compound movements, you know, like squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, and then simple things like carries and sled drags and different strongman elements in there in the program that actually meant that I was able to focus on key movements and actually get much stronger, much faster. That then is gonna translate into you not spending so much time in the gym and not feeling like you're wasting your time. That is the worst thing. So if your motivation is going down because you feel like you're overwhelmed, be confused you want to be feeling like you're actually getting somewhere with what you're doing the next major thing i would suggest you do is go in with a plan that is probably the biggest piece of advice i can give you is don't go in with just a vague idea about i want to train this maybe i'll do some of this and maybe i'll do some of that that's not gonna work. You need to have a detailed plan as to what you're going to do. I've made other videos um, on this that if you're, you know, maybe you've got a spare hour that you wanna go into the gym and, and train, I show you a step-by-step -step process of how to actually set out a workout that's going to actually hit the points that you need to hit, that are specific to you and your goals, that's gonna help you get there a lot faster. Instead of just going into the gym and thinking, okay, well, maybe I'll do some of this. And then if there's time, um, might do some of this. That's not good. That's not gonna allow you to make progress fast. That's just going to be wasting time. And then it's gonna play in your head, in your mind, that you're, you're not making the best use of your time. In all of that, I implemented those several things into my own training. And I was able to get out 
about eight hours a week. I was able to cut down my training time and save eight hours a week across the whole week, not in one hit. That allowed me to actually continue without being overwhelmed. So for me, running your own business comes with its own set of challenges and you know stresses and things that you're constantly thinking of. And a big thing for me, and I don't know if this is you, but when I'm training, if I'm starting to wander mentally, I start thinking about the things that I need to get done and my mind starts to wander. When I cut down the training times and I knew I had a purpose and I had a specific amount of time, I was timing my rest breaks and I went in with a plan, I was able to focus. I was able to do what I needed to do and get in and get out. And I didn't have to deal with feeling like, oh crap, I need to go and do this and I need to go and do that. And then it just makes the whole session uh, feel like a big waste of time. So that is the first point. The second point, obviously I got stronger from doing that. Go figure. Cutting down the amount of time that I was training meant that I was actually prioritizing recovery a lot more and I was actually focusing on the things that were going to work the fastest, namely strongman training. I was able to get stronger in a shorter amount of time because I was actually focusing all my energy on one thing that had a big carryover to what my goals were. So those two things alone, I was able to reduce the overwhelm and get stronger. I was also feeling more motivated so really, really simple. If you're focusing on one thing, it's easy enough to be motivated. If you're focusing on too many different things at once, it pulls your energy away from all of those and has to you know, divide it amongst everything. So you're sort of feeling a bit lost and a bit confused and that therefore affects your motivation. If you're focusing on one thing, it allows you to stay motivated and focused. And that was one of the other big things that I found personally by doing this. And of course, the last point was the probably the biggest benefit of all was actually I started losing body fat. This was from a couple of different reasons, namely because I was focusing on movements again that were getting the biggest bang for my buck, particularly strongman movements, which meant that I was using a lot heavier weights and weights that were actually really challenging, which meant that I was using a lot more muscles. The other side of the coin was it took away all the overwhelm and stress which actually in turn works against you. If your body's in a stressed state, it's not gonna actually uh, lose body fat as easy as you would like, or it's not going to make you get stronger or allow you to build muscle. Its whole job in that point of time is to protect itself and to hang on to all the resources. So fat is included in that. So it's gonna make it very hard if you're stressed out all the time and you're worrying about things in the back of your mind and you're, you're overdoing it, you're, you're trying to you know rev the engine too much, things are gonna start breaking down on you. It's not gonna work um, as it should. So big takeaway for you is if you're in a situation where you're starting to find, maybe you're training a little bit too much and maybe you're experiencing some of these things, you know, training's getting a bit boring, maybe you're, you're not making progress, you're not getting any stronger, you're not losing any fat and you just feel like you're going through the motions, it might be time to change things up going back to the drawing board and really cutting out all the fluff and the stuff from your program and going back to the raw essentials, the things that are going to give you the biggest return. Of course, if you're struggling with that yourself and you're not sure about where to start, this is what I help my clients with all the time. Check out some of the links down below in this video if you want help with that. But the whole purpose of this video is to give you some takeaway points. I hope this was really helpful. If it was, do me a favor and like the video as well as subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend who this might help as well. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.